Today we come to you, Father God, the God of hope, the God of mercy, the God who will lead and guide us into all truths and all knowledge. We come to you, Lord, and we lift up your name before we ask you for anything. We praise you for everything that you have done, everything that you're going to do. We praise you and we thank you for blessing us even during these times. I praise you for keeping us safe, for keeping our minds stayed on you, keeping our hearts pure before you, keeping our motives pure before you. In Philippians 4 and 6, you told us to be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Today, Father God, we make our requests known to you for hope and to restore our hope once again in you and in your promises. You are a God that cannot lie. You neither sleep nor slumber. You are all seeing and you're all knowing and all powerful and a loving, gracious God. So we lift up our eyes to the hills from whence comes our help. For our help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth according to Psalms 121. Thank you, Father God, for helping us to pray prayers that bring results and avail much. You told us to pray your word without ceasing. So I cast out right now the spirit that comes against my prayer life, our prayer life, out of our homes right now in the name of Jesus. Prayer is what we do. Praying is what we're called to do to bring about change and to see change in our life, in our cities, in our streets, and in our nations. We know that prayer is powerful. It is a powerful force and it brings about the glory of God and godly changes that is so needed during these times. Right now, I plead the blood of Jesus over our minds right now, our spirits, in our souls, and over our emotions. I plead the blood of Jesus over our homes as we set ourselves before you, Father God, to seek your face. I plead the blood of Jesus over our families, over our friends, over our co-workers, over our neighbors, our communities, our cities, and this nation. I pray a prayer wall of protection around us right now. And I ask, Father God, that you would send your angelic host to keep us safe from hurt, harm, and danger and from the dangerous things that would try to bring disaster and destruction our way. I come against any plague that would try to come into our homes and that would try to come into our lives. Our homes are covered by you, Father God, and they're covered by the blood of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that we are under an open heaven where the angels can ascend and descend. You're sending your angels to answer our prayers, Father God, and to be with us during these times. During these times, Lord, we need your hope. And I ask you right now to send your angels of hope to be dispatched into every household that is listening to this prayer right now in the name of Jesus. We need you, Lord, like never before. According to Psalms 46 and 1, God is our refuge and our strength a very present help in trouble. Thank you, God, for being such a safe and powerful place to find refuge. You have proven to be help in a time of trouble, more than enough and always available whenever I need you. So I encourage myself and I encourage others who are listening to this prayer. Then I will say to my soul, don't be discouraged, don't be disturbed. For I fully expect my Savior God to break through for me now. Then I'll have plenty of reasons to praise Him all over again. Yes, living before His face is my saving grace according to Psalms 43 and 5. So now we must cling tightly to the hope that lives within us, knowing that God always keeps His promises. Hebrews 10 and 23. So we are convinced that every detail of our lives is continually woven together to fit into God's perfect plan to bring about good into our lives. According to Romans 8 and 28, we know that all things work together for the good of those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. Thank you for lifting up our heads, Father God. But you, O oh Lord, are a shield for me 
my glory and the one who lifts up my head. Psalms 3 and 3. Father God, you told us in your word that we can decree a thing and it is and it will be so. Found in Job 22 and 28. So today I decree over the families that are listening to this prayer. I decree, Father God, that their hope is restored in you. I decree that everything that they have been praying for according to your will for their life will manifest now and also in its timing. Let it manifest according to your word and your will and your purpose for their lives. I decree that their hope is in you, Father God, and I speak long lasting hope and encouragement upon your people. I ask and decree that you will wash away anything that come against our hope. I decree that your people are blessed. Your people are prosperous. I decree that your people will even prosper in the midst of a famine. I decree that you're restoring your people's hope right now. In Jesus' name. Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and all peace in believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Romans 15 and 13. And I decree that all is well. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.